hello everyone guys in this video today we're gonna uh, find out why the generator generator is don't go on on this RV here as you can see this is an E450 super duty super duty it's a beautiful RV it's a full truck for the RV calling for Forester Forester by Forest River so anyway here we are guys we are about to find out what the generator generator is don't go on let's see what we can find okay guys in this video we are going to learn a little bit about generator this is a gas generator in this case over here guys uh sometimes you have a generator and you prime it even if a diesel generator or gasoline you have to prime it over here right if you got this type of generator one time you prime it then you're supposed to start it like this here but what we got here the generator is just cranking but not starting so what you gotta do you gotta make sure the oil is full over here so the oil is a little bit over full because just the customer he put some he put some motor oil in there you see so so far the oil is not a problem it's a little bit over full but it's supposed to start it so i was checking here the the pcv valve or the arrow make sure this hose here is not clack but everything look good there so far so here Let's put this back. We a little noise plier. We put it clamp back there. Make sure it's tight. We also we also remove the air filter here. Make sure it's clean. It's not a hundred percent clean. But it's okay. So, so far we just take it out, put some L there, you know. We also, we're not supposed to do, but we put some little static fluid in there. And the engine start, but turn it off right away. So, while we're looking, what we found here. So, guys, while we're looking, we found out this wire here. This wire was behind, over here, behind the throttle body over here, all the way in the back, right? So one time we found it, we said, oh, this gotta go somewhere. So where's the wire going? This wire going attaches to this, to this wire here, right? So I already put it then here together and I tried to start it and it started really, really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut it all this side here and I put it one of those here. Why? Because the way they do before by putting like this, let me see if I found the other piece. The other piece was there before. Okay, here we are. So this little piece was connected to this wire over here. I guess they changed maybe the little bar over there. That's like a little uh, fuel pressure sensor. They change it and I guess, um, they cut the original was right there, was right attached here, I guess, and they put this type of connection. So what happened is this type of connection, with the time, they break it or coming out of position because you have a lot of vibration. Those generators, they make a lot of vibration here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna cut it off here. I'm gonna put a straight, a straight connection. That's the way it's supposed to be, better, you know? There we don't need to put any fuse because this, uh, if any back counter or something, the generator got their own fuse inside the RV. So as you can see guys, we're gonna put it together now and let's see what happens, okay? Okay guys, so I just put it all together here. I cut the old parts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna melt down this a little bit. That way for better seal, right? Make sure you put it there like this. Make it look more professional work. 
like I said, this is a heat gun here. It really helps a lot in the winter time and the summer time. You can use it. It has enough heat to close those uh, connections there. That way, vibration, don't let it come out. We also gonna put some plastic strap, strap over here, tight, real nice, make it work. I hope these guys feel happy, the family here, they say that was, it was so cold inside the RV and they cannot get enough heat or maybe no heat at all. So they go just to the, to the restaurant over there. I hope when they come back, they feel kind of comfortable, feel happy. Call. We just put it together and let's see how it works, guys. First, we're gonna prime it. You gotta hold in 10, 15 seconds, or between eight and 13 seconds too, it's okay. One time you prime it like that, we are ready to start. So everything working perfect so far. So let's put it back together, everything. We are going to turn it off, right? We turn it off and we're gonna put everything back together here, the cover, the cap for the air filter. So far everything looks good, but I will recommend the, the owner to do a um, maintenance. So let's see what happens, guys. Let's continue, put everything back and we go from there. Okay guys, all done. As you can see, I just put another strap here. I put it on, I put this one here, the, the little uh, connection, melt down, that way it keep the connection safe. Also another strap there. And the cap, the cap for the L filter here. So far, like I said, you have to prime it. One time it's prime it you are ready to start all good so far now i am going to put the cover back see this is open oh wait now it's too close side two, way down to close, make sure the cover is lag, nice and safe. I hope you, I hope you guys you like the video, this is just a short video, um, I never do it that long because um, it was in my mind to do the video, but I hope you like it and learning something new, like I said, if you have any a small wire there, it might be cause a problem to start the, the generator, so remember, Thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, right? Thank you.